Wake up. Wake up, sir. I'm afraid your cadre has been put on hold. GCHQ have intercepted intruders on the estate. They think it could be the Nanners. The Nanners? We're in incredible danger. I don't think any of these politicians have got any clue of the disruption and the disaster that fracking would cause. The things they plan to do are crimes against humanity. In other countries, when we see that the, the, the dictatorships are using chemical weaponry on their citizens, our government gets mad. David Cameron makes a statement. And yet here we are at David Cameron's house, and he's about to use self-same chemicals on his own people in his own country. Scientists have even said that this area comes into the footprint of uh, areas to be fracked. But our Prime Minister wants to keep it frack free. So this is why we're here today, to just highlight the point that he's protecting his own. We're here because this is our response to the government's plans to fast track tracking and take powers away from local community, like in Lancashire where the people of Lancashire and the councillors have already given a resounding no to it, but are still determined to fast track an appeal. Yeah, well it seems to me that they seem to have mapped out the territories for the fracking now. We don't seem to be getting any consultation. We never even did before this caused the earthquakes in Lancashire. So how on earth can we have any form of democracy with what's going on? What I'm fighting for is about the legacy for my grandchildren and their grandchildren. And what started out as a fight for their right to clean air and water has rapidly turned into, as we realise that the government just aren't listening to people, has turned into a fight for their democracy and their right to have a voice when they grow up. I declare war on fracking! <laughs> Shows that even more of the country is possible for like for fracking licenses. There's 65 percent of the country is up for fracking. So we're going to start taking information to those towns that haven't got them. And thanks to Vivian, Climate Revolution, Talk Fracking, we're going to be touring around and doing this and getting more nannies in every town to build the resistance.